and proceeding with our Life Technologies qPCR unboxing videos, we are now ready to quantitate the RNA. In this box, I have the Qubit 2.0 fluorimeter. Let's open it up. We have three pieces of paper. One, which is our quick reference card so that we understand how to do the Qubit assays. Two, the packing slip. And three, a certificate of conformity. Now let's get down to the qubit. We'll take off the foam, take out the qubit, set it down right here. Our USB drive we'll keep here. And this box here has our power supply. Move this over here. Now what you'll find in the power supply box is your power supply with a bunch of different plugs. So this is very nice if you ever move countries. You'll be able to use the qubit and take it with you. We'll use the one in the US today. We'll just very easily pop it on here. Ready to go. Plug this in here and plug in our qubit. There we are. Now, the qubit will turn on and it will say that we can choose our assay, either DNA, RNA, or protein. Since we're working with RNA today, we created our RNA standards according to the instructions on the quick reference card. And they are in the recommended RNA reference ranges. Now we're going to start with reading our standards. So we'll open the qubit, insert standard one, and press read. Simple enough. Now let's go to standard two. Insert into the qubit, press read, and simple enough. We've got our standards done. Let's now read our sample. Insert, read. Simple enough, 232 nanograms per mil, which is exactly in range with what we were expecting. What comes next? You press the data, and here what we can do we can set the date, set the time, rename our sample, whatever you'd like to do. But what I'm gonna do is just make it really easy. Take out my USB drive, insert it right here, and press the USB icon to save my readings. And that's as simple as that. We have, are done with the qubit, done quantitating our, our RNA, and we're ready to move on into cDNA synthesis.